And welcome back to Who Would Win. Today's Who Would Win comes to us from Shadow82. And I believe someone on you has suggested this, although I, I'll be honest, when I wrote it down, it might have been something different. So I think it's this one. If not, it might have been a different one. And I think I might know which one it might have been. Point being, though, uh, Tsunade from Naruto versus, and I want to see if I get this one's name right, <clears throat> Mary, Mary Oleona. Mary, Mar I'm going to call her Mary. Uh, but Mario Alona, who is one of the captains of the, I believe it's the Royal Knights, um, excuse me, the court, uh, Quartet Knights, uh, from Black Clover. So, very powerful women, very aggressive, very dangerous individuals. Tsunade, being one of the Sani, is one of the strongest ninja of her time. Uh, she is, the, she became the fifth Hokage. Uh, she is considered the skill, most skilled medical ninjutsu user in the world. Uh, her abilities range from a serious advanced healing techniques, which she could heal herself pretty much on the spot, to a techniques that go beyond even that. Um, she keeps she stored her, stores her chakra within her the seal on her forehead, activating it allows her to massively regenerate herself on basically a Wolverine esque level. Uh, she, obviously, one of other her one of her other big traits is her physical abilities, her strength. She's capable of lifting and wielding Gambu to. Uh, the Gamut Bunta would be the equivalent of a sword, but it's pretty much a tanto, uh, a, a large knife, but it, it, it'd be a sword. Kate though, lifting that up and skewering Manda's mouth. Uh, that blade had to have been at least ooh, a couple thousand pounds, at least. And she basically wielded it like nothing. She's cracked the earth with just her finger. She's broken the absolute defense of Susano when going up against Madara Chio just a couple strikes. Her, her strength is one of her most defining traits. Uh, but that being said, she does have other abilities uh, under her belt as well. She apparently has uh, lightning, fire. No, so it was a lightning, fire, or lightning, uh, water. I know it's I know it's lightning, earth, and water. I think uh, she might also have fire as well. I can't remember that. And Yin Chakra. Uh, but she is. We don't really see her using elemental jutsu, though. She probably does know them, except the technique which named excuse me at the moment, where she converts her chakra into electricity and basically hits the nervous system of the opponent to basically re to basically confuse their uh, their nerves and basically your body doesn't respond right. If you try to like move your finger, for example, your shoulder moves. If you try to move your neck, your uh, kneecap might move or your knee might move. So it's a very tricky thing. You have to be a skilled combatant, skilled uh, of with the basically the, your own body. To be able to counteract something like that. She's also capable of summoning Katsuyu, which is a giant slug. Katsuyu has massive regenerati regeneration and healing abilities, as well as be able the ability to spew acid. Uh, Tsunade is also a skilled ninja in her own right. She knows how to be stealthy. She knows how to use kunai. She knows tactics. She's around 53 by the end of the series. Uh, and I'm not talking about when, like, when Naruto becomes Okage. By the time Naruto becomes Okage, that's in our 10 years down the road. So she's probably more along the lines of in her 60s at that point. Um, but yeah, she's about 50 years old by the time we'll be using her in this fight. Uh, and she's got, that means she has literally decades worth of experience under her belt. Uh, Mary, uh, and you know what, I'm going to go back to the wiki real quick because I need to know something real quick about her age. Uh, she does not come off she does not seem to be portrayed as a very old individual and i've been on record saying that i i I've like watched the first couple of episodes of black cover i've never read the manga she's 32 okay she's not young but she's certainly not old um yeah, let's see here there oh, that's the picture i was using <clears throat> uh mary uh, mary is a fire user uh her Element, her elemental nature or type of magic is fire-based. She is so powerful in her ma elemental magic that she doesn't actually need her grimoire to use her magic. She needs it for more powerful spells, but she does not need it to use magic in general. She's just naturally inclined to use it, which is a big thing in the Black Cobra universe from the little I do know about is that your grimoire, everyone is on some level capable of using magic, but her level of magic, she's kind of a a different comparison for an anime, but she's kind of a kimpachi esque individual where she's got a love for combat and battling. She's much more of a brawler and a fighter than a mage. So she has just innate ability to harness mana from the atmosphere and just use it. But when she wants to use actual you know, spells, she does use her grimoire. Now, I should note, 
as someone who doesn't read or watch Black Clover, and I admit, I should probably get into it, because it does seem like something that'd be up my alley. I do admit that. Uh, same with Hunter x Hunter. Um, and maybe the, and those would probably be, like, some of the next ones I go to after I'm, I mean, My Hero is still going in Japan, so it's be a while. At least until I'm all cut up on My Hero. <clears throat> However, uh, I'm assuming if your Grimoire is destroyed, that's good night, Irene, in terms of all the spells. You know, you can't really utilize the spells in your Grimoire unless you somehow remember them. Uh, but I'm, from what I remember, Grimoire is designed to help channel your energy through the Grimoire, and then, you know, you're able to use those spells. Obviously, she doesn't have that issue that much, as she's just a brawler. I remember, because I do, I've seen clips of Black Clover, so I remember, her abilities in fire magic are so intense that, I just realized, I got my, um, my, um, came back machine still in the background. You can hear rain in the background, very relaxing. And also, you know, at this point, we're just going to keep it there. Uh, it's ambiance. So, but her fire capabilities are so strong that she was fighting not an actual water user uh, in terms of water magic. She was fighting a guy who copied other magics and threw them back at her. Guy had copied some water magic, threw, threw it back at her, and you'd assume that that'd be an actual weakness of her fire magic. But her fire magic was so intense, she pretty much just evaporated the crap out of that. Now, in theory, a strong enough water spell would snuff out her fire magic, but it would clearly have to be a supremely strong water spell. Like, water probably boils next to her when she's in the mood to fight. She's also a very violent, cantankerous... Uh, just not a very pleasant person to be around overall. She's not an evil person, per se. She's just a, not a fine, not a fun person to be around, per se, in that sense. Um, but she is definitely a warrior through and through, preferring to fight her fail. She knows augmentation magic as well, which enhances her physical abilities. So this allows her to compete with individuals who, uh, there was a, what's his name, Veto? who uses beast magic, which enhanced his physical abilities with the power of beasts and things along those lines. And she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Now, how does that compare to other characters? That's neither here nor there. She's also incredibly fast, able to keep up and appear in front of Asta when he's in his um, anti-magic form, which is moving at very fast relativistic speeds at that point. Uh, so she is immensely powerful. Really, the only real ways I could see you beating the, her, at least... In general, I mean, there's individuals be like, ah, I can warp reality. So obviously someone like that could easily beat her. Uh, or time, just snuff out any magic she has. But in terms of like just straight non, straight non hacks individuals, you'd probably have to first take out her grimoire just to make sure she doesn't have real access to any of her powerful spells. Assuming then that actually takes out her access to powerful spells, then you just need to beat her into submission. And that's not easy to do. So who wins the fight? Mary or Tsunade? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, first off, in terms of who's got the advantages where, physically speaking, I think I will give Tsunade the advantage probably on brute strength alone, but it's probably not by a large margin. In fact, in terms of true physicality, she's got, Tsunade's got the regeneration factor down. That one she's got in the back. In terms of pure, phys pure physicality, I'd say that Mary's got a, edge seriously on her in terms of like phys straight physical actual combat in terms of durability the ability to take a hit and in terms of um um just raw power see in a physical in terms of raw power sunai's got the edge physically she mary's got the edge uh in terms of just sheer power in terms of her abilities overall um, but that, and that said, she's also got the long range advantage too, cause she can use fire to her advantage, but she prefers like, you know, getting in close, which could give Tsunade an advantage. Tsunade, on the other hand, has far more years worth it. Granted, she's, Mary has lived in the wild on her own for long, many, many years, but Tsunade is a trained ninja, been through, been through several wars, has well over three to four decades worth of experience, meaning that she's got at least twice as much years of experience on uh, Mary. So she's got the she's got the actual, you know, combat experience in terms of war itself. And she is a trained ninja, so she's got that to go into as well. Plus she clearly knows the substitution, transformation jutsu, genjutsu as well, or the uh, clone jutsu. Then she also has Katsuyu. Now Katsuyu probably isn't the best candidate to fight this person because she would just become a piece of freaking escargot on a giant stick. In fact, 
I have a feeling that Mary sees that and think, oh, I haven't had slug in ages. And look how tasty big you look. Uh, she'd probably just be like, I'm going to eat that slug. Uh, so really, this this fight ultimately is going to come down to power versus technique. And I mean technique on Tsunade's side, oddly enough. Because she got enough power to definitely deliver the blows. But I think Mary's got enough durability to take it. So these two old do... These will took it out. She's Mary's going to be the the aggressor in this fight, definitely. So now I will, you know, do her best and you know keep her at bay. But in terms of again, actual straight speed, aggressive power, and actual legitimate hand to hand combat skill, I think she holds the edge. In terms of actual combat experience, though, it's Tsunade. I think who holds the edge. So they'll be going back and forth. Tsunade though does deliver some solid blows, and they do throw Mary's around Mary around a bit. So she's like, and she's just getting more excited. Like, oh, it's been a real a long while since I met someone who could literally dish out a blow like that, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, you're getting me all fired up. I love it. And then she you knows she comes in and just starts dealing with the fire, uh, you know, fire magic, which Sunai's like, fire jutsu? It's like, oh, uh, now she's, now, now Sunai's on the, no pun intended, the back burner here. Just, uh, 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 uh. She's doing her best she can. So now she just cracks the ground, but she, basically Mary can just stay in the air if she needs to. It's like, oh, come on. Is that the best you got, lady? I'm so disappointed in you. It's like, come on, give me a real fight. And then I just catches the punch. Her hand is basically burning, but she immediately activates her Genesis Rebirth seal right here. It starts just healing damage and it just starts, and actually breaks Mary's hand right there. It's like, oh, that's what I'm talking about. And then Mary's now going full blast on her, firing spells, intense flames. So now kind of is rushing through some of the flames, but she knows she can't be in front of all the flames because even her regeneration has limits. And it kind of, it's kind of Wolverine facing Phoenix scenario, scenario where she's healing while she's burning. So it's just back and forth, back and forth. So now he appears behind Maris again. It's like, gotcha, you're not, it's like, you really think you can uh, stop, you really think you can, yeah. And you get the drop on me that easy. He just grabs Tsunade, who just uses her other hand, boom, smacks her in the smacks her in the neck. Basically rewrites her nervous system, at least temporarily. And now she just now Mary's just she she can't move. She's really like, what'd you do to me? It's like and then she I I turn my chakra into electricity and I put it in your nervous system. You're not gonna be moving for a while. And then she just Mary just floats up a little bit. It's like who says I need to move? <laughs> yeah. yeah um, yeah, I mean, she probably, she does get a little psychotic from a little bit. I see she gets pretty psychotic when she's enjoying a fight. And she's just laughing. She's like, I don't need to move to take you out, lady. And then she basically uses, like, the ultimate finisher she has on cause. Like, Sonata's just, boom! And, and then basically, um, you know, incinerates the entire thing. And then all of a sudden, boom, the book closes shut. Like, huh, Sonata's there. Use the substitution, just. <laughs> it just breaks the, breaks the book in half. She's like, you're done. It's like, that's enough. And her seal recedes. And it's like, and you know, Mary's like, you destroyed my grimoire. But yeah, you're not going to be pulling off any more of that, that, those fire jutsu. I'm guessing this was the source of you. I'm guessing this was the source of your power, huh? It's like, but you won't be, you won't be using that anymore. <laughs> and then she, Mary at this point starts laughing. Like, Why are you laughing? You actually thought that was the source of my power? That just gave me access to some powerful spells. Now, let me show you where my power comes from. All the mana gets absorbed in the area. And she just, boom, smacks Sunai square across the face. And just, boom, and then Sunai just kind of goes down and just, she knocks Sunade out cold. So, this is this would actually be a pretty close fight. She, because from a physical standpoint, Tsunade holds the advantage. From a combat ex uh, standpoint, an experience standpoint, she holds the advantage. And from a regeneration standpoint, she holds the advantage. But from an actual durabil durability, raw power, raw combat ability, and overall abilities, I think it would, I think it actually goes to, um, uh, I'm going to try to say her full name once, one more time. Mary Oleona? Um, I think it would actually go to Mary. Uh, she just has the more raw power, is able to keep Sunai at distance for longer, which runs out Sunai's clock a bit quicker. And she just has an extreme love for combat. I do think that if, when, if and when Sunai gets the chop of the electric can, again, I can't remember the technique, uh, his technique's name, uh, I do think that would throw her for a loop because she wouldn't necessarily be able to move properly. But she can move without actually having to move her body. And she doesn't need the grimoire to use magic. She, it just aids her and helps her use more powerful abilities. So ultimately, I actually will go Mary in this round. I actually, uh, Mary in this 
who would win. I did think it was going to be Sonali, and don't get me wrong, I do think she can win a solid amount of fights, but the majority of the fights will go to Mary. So, that's my thoughts on it, though. What do you think? Do you think it's Mary? you think it's Sonali, or do you think it's, one more time, Mary Alona? I am probably butchering that name. I apologize. Until then, let me know in the comments below. But until then, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. Ideas for win, Star Wars, Super Mario Magic, What If, anything you can do in the channel. Put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you folks next time. Have a good one.